I want to get to know her. I want to. I want to take her out, you Doing know. I want to. I want to rub my hand through her hair. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> Next question says. What do you guys do to spice things up after having kids? Heart. Storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways doing today I hope you all are having an amazing morning night whatever time you're watching this so we are on the way to Del TZ and if you don't know what Del TZ is it's Del Taco and if you don't have a Del Taco I'm sorry but it's really good so we're about to go get some Del Taco for breakfast because it is 9 o'clock 9 15 to be exact and we still have not eaten breakfast so before we get on with today's vlog I do want to mention a couple of things because I totally forgot to mention them in yesterday's video and what was yesterday's video about if you don't know the link will be in the description <laughs> yesterday's video was super super cute so if you haven't seen that already go check it out like Chris said the link is in the description actually I'll put it in the comments so that you guys can see it anyway so the first thing I want to mention is that we we are doing a giveaway and we actually have been this video or this giveaway has been going on but I never actually mentioned it on our YouTube channel because it's an Instagram giveaway so if you are on Instagram and you want to enter the giveaway just go to our channel it's at Penny family baba. vlogs Baba you want your Baba say Baba please Please. So go on Instagram at Penny Family Vlogs, click follow, and then the rules to enter are in that picture. It's super easy to enter, so all you have to do really is follow us and tag like five friends, and you can actually enter every once a day, every single day. Just tag five new friends and give them a chance to win too. Basically, we are picking five winners to give merch away, so it's super exciting. This is the biggest giveaway we've done, and the reason we're doing this giveaway is one to thank you guys for all your love and support, and too because we are about to hit 200,000 Penny family members and I wanted to do something special for you guys because we just love and appreciate each and every one of you so much. The second thing I wanted to mention is that we do have our Facebook page now. We are on Facebook and I just created like a special Facebook group page so it's called Pena Family Members. So if you have a Facebook or you want to make a Facebook just to add it, just type in Pena Family Members and you'll see our group and then we will approve you to be in the group and then you guys will be notified when we post new videos, giveaways like this, new merch, new content, you'll get all the notifications for that. And I like it because it's a little more personal so every time I go on there it's like through my personal Facebook page so I get to reply to you guys just like I do with the YouTube comments but it's just another platform that we can share stuff on and be connected with you guys. So yeah, those were the two little updates I wanted to give you guys. We are literally in the Del Taco drive through now so let's see money. what we gonna get. You want my mano? Oh, I was asking for my mano. Number five with a medium power rate. It's gonna be 1062 at the window. Thank you. I got a number five, which is two yeah. chicken soft tacos. It's loading. A medium okay. fry and a medium power rate, and you got an egg and cheese burrito. Yes. And Ava's in the back watching Monkey Banana, and she goes, "Loading, loading." Yes, baby, it's loading. Okay, gonna wait. Loading. <laughs> You're so funny. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Don't even give me that. You had your seatbelt off since we left the house. That is I'm not just true. I'm just kidding. You little punk. That's so not true. So while we're waiting for our food, why do you look so bored of me right now? I'm not. I'm just tired. <laughs> so while we're waiting for our food, we decided that we should do a Q&A part two because a lot of you guys were asking in the comments of that video to do a part two. You were like, I want to see a part two. So we're here to do a part two. Part dose for you bilinguals. So yeah, we're just going to get our Del Taco food 
sit here and Ava's gonna hop in the front. We're gonna park, obviously. Right now we're still in the drive-thru. And we will answer the rest of your juicy questions because there was a lot. There were like thousands, like really? thousands. Yeah, and they were good. They were good questions. So we, this is better because Chris is here now. So we can get, you know, both sides of it. We can get my side and we can get Chris's side and we can see, you know, how they compare and contrast. Why don't we just start right now since the line's not moving at all. Okay. I know your Instagram login. Oh no, you're gonna go through my DMs and see all the guys that slide in. You don't even have guys that slide in your DM. We're moving. <laughs> We're moving. It's like a line at Disneyland. We're moving! Oh my gosh! I'm so excited to ride Space Mountain! Boom. I don't need change. Hey, sauce sir? Ketchup and hot sauce, please. And can I get a water cup also? Ketchup and hot sauce, uh, water cup? Yeah. Thank you. 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 You too. You too. Look at his. <laughs> what? What? Shouldn't the water be like more since it's free? Okay. What did you get? You got some chicken tacos. Oh my gosh. Hold on, first of all, we gotta give Ava her fry. Because she is first. She comes first. Tingle boo boo. She said thank you. Hello? We're gonna try to do as many of these questions as fast as we can and not talk too long about each of them. Just try to, you know, like, just get them all out. All right, super, let's super do fast. It. Question number one. First of all, let me start eating because I always forget to eat and I talk too much. So I got a egg and cheese burrito. And I got a chicken soft taco, two of them. Did you get hot sauce? Mm -hmm. I'm about to kill you right now if you didn't get my bro. Hot sauce being applied currently. Currently my life. Okay, here we go. Now we can get started. Mmm. And no, french fries aren't Ava's breakfast. She's gonna eat a healthy breakfast when we get home. This is just a snack for her. Well, she had apples before you left. And yeah, and she already ate, kind of. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. I should've got like three of these. Mm -hmm. So, question number one is from the Queen Kayla. What age were you when you wanted to start dating? Also, I love y'all so much. We love you so much. Uh, I don't remember the exact age, but I was probably a freshman or a sophomore where I was like, okay, I can start dating now. Mm -hmm. In high school, that is. Because I didn't go to college. What about you? I did go to college, but it was <laughs> it was only for two years. Okay, my I started dating um, sophomore year, junior year. I started dating, he was my first boyfriend. But before you, I started dating, like going on dates. Um, I would say like sophomore year, yeah. But I didn't look at them as dates. I just thought like, oh, I'm going out with out. my friend, yeah. But Chris and I were like each other's first real legit relationships. Any of our like boyfriends or girlfriends weren't really boyfriends or girlfriends. You hear that, Patricia? I'm just kidding. Next question. <laughs> Her name wasn't Patricia, by the way. Next question is from Lexi Garris. When did you know your husband was the one? So I knew he was the one when we started dating and I just realized he was so different from any other guy I was like ever talking to or like talk to in general and he was just like so genuine and sweet and he I, I realized like he wanted to date me for me and nothing else like yeah he thought I was pretty and beautiful and all that and like he would like compliment me but other guys would like only compliment me on like appearance he would like I don't know if that makes sense he would like I don't know he was just very genuine about it and I wasn't dating he her would, because she was hot and that was it he would talk to me about deep things and not just like dang you're hot stupid things if that makes sense and the reason I knew he was the one honestly was because it, it was so like this isn't the reason but one of the reasons was he would not freaking kiss me like Ever like I had to be like okay you can kiss me now like he was so shy and to me like that was so cute like the fact that you were so shy and he would just not kiss me like we didn't kiss on the first date definitely we didn't we definitely didn't kiss on the first date I think it took like five dates like actual dates it where was three 
Our first date was right here, by the way. Our first date was right here at Frozen Yogurt. Yep. And we sat there and we talked for three hours. My mom literally texted me like, are you okay? She probably thought the worst because I'm going out with this boy. Like, but she, we literally were sitting outside of frozen yogurt, talked for three hours straight and that was it. Like, and that's kind of how I knew too because we were just like talking so much and it was so easy. But yeah, that, those are just like a couple reasons I knew he was one. He was very, very different from other guys, let's just put it that way. What is your favorite part about vlogging with your family as your job? That's uh, from Lucas Lexi. Yeah, my favorite part about it is vlogging with my family. Like, working with your family is like a dream come true. You, you, If you can work with your family every single day and be able to spend as much time with them as you want, like, what else can you ask for? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, there's no, there's nothing else that you can ask for. We were talking about this last night too because I was like, dang, imagine if I had to go through deployment right now because Chris got out of the army like right before they deployed. So it was literally like God's timing with being pregnant and everything. But I was just thinking like, oh my gosh, we have it so easy when it comes to like obviously what we do is not easy, like don't get me wrong, but we have it easy when it comes to like the fact that we get to be together all the time. And it's never too much, like we, trust me, like we keep our distance when we need to. Yeah. But the fact that I don't have to wait all day for him to get home or he doesn't have to, oh you want more fries? Or he doesn't have to wait, you know, all day to, for me to get home from working 20 hours. It's like such a blessing, you guys have no idea. I was literally crying last night about it because I was like, we're so blessed. I get to see you we every day. E. Ali Mac, who made the first move? <laughs> um, she did. She made the first move. I didn't kiss her for the first couple dates and then she was just Why like, didn't you though? Were you shy or were you trying to prove a point like, hey, I'm not just here to kiss you? Both, a little bit of both. But it made you want me more, so. Boom. Here, here's a good one. Marcos underscore Cepeda 21. Has there ever been a time you guys regretted getting married this young? No. What's there to regret? There's we don't no regret, regret. Yeah, we don't regret getting married in general. So we can't regret getting married at a young age. Because yeah. that's just when it happens. I will say it was way easier for us to get married than a lot of other young couples because of the military. Because they support you a lot. Like... I'm just gonna put that out there. They we freaking didn't have to pay rent. Yeah. Like they supported us with housing or not housing, but like housing allowance. You know, gave us money to live somewhere, and it was it was super easy to be on our own because we didn't really have much responsibility. We didn't have a child. It was it was easy. But of course, marriage. You know, once you get past the little cupcake phase, or the hun <laughs> honeymoon phase, whatever you want to call it, it obviously gets hard and moving in with somebody in general is hard like you have to get used to each other there's a lot of things that are gonna be new and when you're doing it at a young age when you're not as mature it can be harder but I think yeah. that we're very very mature for our age obviously or else we wouldn't be bringing children into this world next question says what do you guys do to spice things up after having kids? Heart, love you guys. And we didn't say who it's from because we don't want to put them out there like yeah, that. Yeah, we don't want to put you on blast. Um, what do we do to spice things up? We no, don't really have to spice really things up. Spice things we don't really have to spice things up. Then. I don't think kids like affect your love life that. Like, I don't think kids affect your love life that much, honestly. Nah, no issues. Just wait till they go to sleep. <laughs> Quieren tener más bebés? Los amo, saludos desde Mexico. Oh, that was good, babe. Yes, we definitely do want to have more babies. You have to say it in Spanish. Si, sí. queremos. <laughs> Mas bebes. Mas bebes. <laughs> Are you guys religious and do you guys go to church? Also, love you guys. That's from Grace to Lovely. We love you, Grace. And yes, we do go to church and we believe in God. And Jesus. And we need to go to church more often than we actually do, but we try to go as much as we can. Mm -hmm. Ava doesn't like her um, 
like nursery class. She doesn't like being away from us for very long. But that's just an excuse that I think that we say to ourselves. It's definitely to an excuse. Kind of not go, but at the same time, we we try to watch it online as much as we can, and mm -hmm. we try to go to the events as much as we can. But at the same time, also. Um, if you're not a Christian or if you're not a believer in God, even if you're an atheist, like, we're not going to treat you any different, you know what I mean? It would be hypocritical for any Christian or any person that believes in God to be against atheists. That's hypocritical because Jesus says, you know, love your neighbor and that's what we all do. We don't care how you look, what color you are, what you believe in, we're going to love on you no matter what, regardless, so... Yes, of course we believe in God, and I'm pretty sure we show it in our videos, at least we try to show it, but we give him all the glory for everything. Like, he is the reason we are here, and he's the reason, you know, he blesses us, and I pray every day that he blesses us so that we can bless others. From Lexa.Marie1004, when you first started YouTube, were you embarrassed to tell people what you did? Um, no, I was never embarrassed to tell people what I did. I wasn't excited for their response because I already knew, like, people still to this day ask me, oh, do you work? And I'm like, yeah. And they'll be like, oh, where do you work? And I'll be like, oh, I work from home. And then they just start, like, the, you kind of have to just be blunt about it. Like, now I'm just blunt about it. I'm just like, yeah, I do YouTube. And I just say that because a lot of people don't understand it. And they're just kind of like, oh, you get paid, like, for that like they they don't know what goes behind it so I was never really like embarrassed to tell them but I just knew like oh gosh we gonna be sitting here for three hours trying to explain what I do you know yeah what I mean? and it's like we're not really trying to put ourselves out there to people like that anyway yeah I mean it's not it's nobody's business but if they're curious like oh how do you make because everyone's curious how you make money off of YouTube it's just not a comfortable thing to talk about with someone it's like if you're if if it's not if, it's very disrespectful in my opinion to say hey what do you do and then the most people say oh well when she says YouTube most people will say oh you More. can make money from YouTube how much exactly, do you make exactly. and it's like it's like it's you know, like I'm if not, I were a lawyer they wouldn't be asking oh how do you make yeah, money from that how much so do you make the like, fact no. that it's YouTube they continue asking questions about it because they think it's okay yeah. But and it's not. they think, oh, because it's YouTube, that's different. I can ask you how much you make a month. Yeah. Or it's just kind of like it's, it's kind of a weird. disrespectful set, uh, situation, and I don't know. We we try to avoid avoid that. Yeah, but we're always honest Look, with you guys. Hell. <laughs> we're always honest with you guys, and you know, we straight up tell you, no, we're not getting rich from YouTube. But yeah. people, of course, can get rich off of YouTube, and you know, that's just goals. That would that would literally be goals. But we ha we also have other jobs, you know. Yeah. Okay, so here's another question from Lizette.1011. Would you want a better wedding? By the way, I love you. I love you, Lizette. And you want to answer Would this? you want a better wedding? Um, I thought our wedding was perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing that I, would re that I would change was the fact that I didn't have yet our videographer shooting our wedding. Yeah, because he's Pretty so much. good. Like, if our he videographer shot our wedding, was, it would have been perfect. Yeah, our videographer that we had was awesome. He's an awesome person. But now we just are so close with Viet, and we would just like yeah. much rather have him just do it for us. Dude, you know if, Viet, I mean? if Viet would have shot our wedding video, oh my goodness. Yeah, but no, I love the fact that it was cute and small. And I mean, it really wasn't that yeah, small. It wasn't. We, had, we had 150 people fit in my mom's Yay. backyard. It was like a little backyard wedding, but it was it was, it was it was perfect. It was, was It was yeah. It was nice. It was really nice. Alexis Graham says, "If you could change one thing about Chris, what would it be?" His confidence. Mama. You have a, yes, have baby. Oh, thank you. Nana. You want monkey banana? You don't just say it like that. You gotta say please. Say please. Say say please. please. Good girl. I would just say your confidence a little bit because sometimes you can say like. I'm fat and I'm just like where like just like that it just bothers me when you're hard on yourself that's like the only thing mm, if I could change one thing about you they the question was to Chris oh. eh, no I'm just kidding what would be one thing that you'd change about me I don't know nothing you're perfect uh -huh. <laughs> so here's a good question I'm not gonna say your name because I don't know if they're talking about themselves uh. but it says what is your best advice for a heartbreak Oh, girl. Stella's, like, kicking me so hard right now. Girl. Just 
just don't just don't do it <laughs> my best <laughs> advice for a heartbreak is figure out what happened abort. and learn from it and move on abort. like Mission just like abort. what's that song by ariana grande that, that you like thank you it's next. oh the new song yeah thank, thank you it's called thank you next listen just to that song thank you next it's about like her dating men and having a, a bad situation turn into something good like for she example learned from them. she learned a lesson from them like one guy taught her about patience someone just ran over the curb like terribly <laughs> okay so one guy taught her about patience one guy taught her about love but in reality it didn't work out obviously mm -hmm. because you know not everyone's perfect not everyone's meant to be with each other so she learned from her from the relationship she took something from it and kept it with her and then she let the rest of it go because she's gonna move on she's gonna find someone different life is so short. you know what i mean like it's uh, we've, been, we've both been through heartbreak and it was mostly with each other like yeah because like, we did break up once and when he went to the army and it was like the hardest thing ever literally it was the worst decision yeah. of our lives but it's not always going to be that way it's not always going to be oh you had heartbreak but then you guys get back together and it's fine get married have a happy family like yeah. no that's just our situation because we made it that way we made it that way but a lot of times i mean you can, excuse me you can have heartbreak and then it just you have heartbreak and then you move on and you get past it and then god brings somebody else you know bigger and better things into your life that's right just focus on yourself focus, focus on, yourself on yourself and learn who you are before you try and yeah. teach someone about you because that's when you really you know okay. fall in love with someone is when i'm trying to tell amanda this is what i like to do this is who i am this is it yeah. and then at the end of the day she loves that person but yeah. in reality i'm just telling her how i am so if she likes me for who i am then obviously you, you cannot know. change anybody so if it's not working out just thank you next okay last question is, is... from woe shaylin it says first impressions question mark so i'm guessing what were our first impressions about each other so my first impression that i remember was wow like she's gorgeous but when in first grade no that no, was no. when we met no no no. and when we when we met again <laughs> on instagram so when we <laughs> he's letting we're gonna sit in here and tell this whole story like no <laughs> We, we met really again in high school. We knew each other in first grade. We went to the same school. We knew of each other, you know, and then she went to a different school. I went to a different school. We didn't see each other for a long time. I saw her sister who was volunteering at my high school and I remembered, boom, she has a sister. Let me try and find her. And she is a hot sister. Look. And then, <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should look and her then, up on Instagram and, and then see if it, she's still hot. It turned, out, <laughs> it turned out that she was hot, but I slid in her DMs. Ew. But anyway, I... Uh, brought her Starbucks and the first time that I actually saw her for the first time physically I was just like wow like she's gorgeous yeah. Mm -hmm. but yeah that was my first impression and then you know all these <laughs> things run through your head and it's like yeah. Here, baby. I want to get to know her I want to I want to yeah. take her out you Good know I want to I want to rub my hand through her hair yeah. I'm just <laughs> kidding I'm trying to buy that girl Del Taco <laughs> That was my first impression. What about you? My first Be honest though. No, my first impression of you, like he said, he brought me Starbucks. That was the first time we saw each other. In my raggedy car, like. Oh my gosh, he was in this Honda, like what, 19, 1988 what Honda Accord DX. And he literally. And it was brown, like a light brown. On our first date, he literally was like, oh, I need to turn my headlights on. He <laughs> got out the car and freaking manually like lifted was, his headlights It was up. the headlights that poked up like. <laughs> And, and they look like, like they had two little eyes. Okay, like we're rolling with it. But anyways, that wasn't our first date with my first impression. So he had brought me Starbucks, like he said. And that was the first time we saw each other since first grade besides like Instagram. So I didn't know like if he was like tall or short or what. Like you, you can only see so much from Instagram, especially when you have somebody who doesn't post pictures. So you could you didn't really help me out there. I could have been catfish, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. But he pulled up in his little Honda looking all cute and you actually were, it was like right after you went through puberty so you actually were like really tall and I was like, oh my gosh, he's so tall, he's so cute. You know you can tell somebody's tall from like them sitting in the car. And so I was like, okay, yes, 
like he's taller than me like this is good this is a good first step and then uh he just like rolled his window down not like this like this <laughs> and for, he was like for you younger people that don't know what we're talking about <laughs> you used to have to roll your windows down with like this little knob it wasn't automatic and he was like rolling his window down and he was like here you go with like the cutest little smile on his face ever and his little blushy cheeks because he was blushing i thought you were so cute and i was like yes like i'm gonna date this boy like it's gonna happen okay so that's all the questions for this q a i hope you guys enjoyed it but this vlog isn't over yet we're gonna go home and we'll meet you guys there oh, i just realized something you didn't say hi to the penya fam say hi penya fam Oh, I you're love so you. cute. Say I love you, Penny Pam. Oh, you say it so good. I you, Penny Pam. Ava loves this backyard, you guys. I don't think we hardly ever show her like actually playing out here, but she loves it. We play out here every day. Say what's up, Penny Pam. Why are you so cute? Why are you looking all cute? Because my baby bought my my clothes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Chris has never worn jeans with holes. Ever. How Ever. do I look? I just need a little lint roller. No, they look good on you. Yeah, but they're a little linty. She's over here pooping. I hear you over here grunting. Eva hardly ever goes poop in her diaper anymore. She literally tells me 90% of the time and she goes in the toilet. She's getting so big, but I guess she didn't tell me right now. You going poop poop? Yeah. Okay, I'll let you do your thing, girl. You wanna come sing your songs? <laughs> oh, my baby. L-M-N-O-P. Q-R-T-U-W-Y-N. Now I know my ABG. Next time, won't you? Me, me, me. Oh, baby. High five. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. You want to sing another song? Yeah. Okay, what song do you want to sing? Do that Toes? Okay, sing it. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Wait, I don't think the Penya fam has heard your poo poo song. Every time we go poo poo on the toilet, what do we sing? I go. I go. Here I. Here I. Poo poo on the door. Poo poo on the door. Get it. Out. Get it. Out. Good job, baby. That's what we sing every time. I think I just made up that song randomly one day, but she memorized it and now we sing it. Ah. What are you doing? <laughs> Ava, what are you doing? <laughs> She's over here trying to be Hulk. Oh, you're so strong. It's heavy. Okay, guys, we need to go inside and change your diapers. So we are going to end the vlog right, right here. It wasn't really a vlog today. It was kind of like a QA, and a a little bit of a vlog. But yeah. you guys get the point. So you already know we cannot end today's video without giving the shout-out for today. So today's shout-out goes to... Ivy. <laughs> what? Ivy. It's heavy? Then why are you picking it up if it's heavy? Because you're strong? <laughs> this is such a cute angle. You got the name? Jalen's World. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for showing us love in the comment section and always watching our videos. We love you so much. Say I love you, Jalen. So like always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you aren't subscribed already, what are you doing? Make sure you click that subscribe button because we do vlog daily. daily. But we love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Besito. Oh, oh, you taking it away? You gotta get